Hey guys, Rick for Sonus here, back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a Sunderling style future house drop. So it's a remake from Sunderling Spotlight. So the final result was on, I guess. So now let's definitely drop sounding like this. So we have the sub bass, the camouflage kind of stint. It's kind of the same as you're in the camouflage track cola. Never the bass line with the serum automation. Just opening up the filter. So if you want more presets I guess, make sure to check Hex Sounds for one. In that preset pack you'll find all the sounds you need to make this kind of style of music. So now let's have in the drums. First of the kick first we have the kick drum. It's sounding like this. Then we have the clap at every second and fourth. So pre shift the clap. We got some more groove. We had a layer at every fourth. You have some hi-hat loops. Just to give some more groove. Some more groovy kind of thing, and then the white noise in the first part, and that's it for drums. So now let's have the bass line. So now it's time to dive in the bass line. So we got a spruce set, and I'm just gonna give you a destruction of it. So so we have the saw wave table, lower down two octaves, where the FM from B enabled, you have oscillator B. We're only using it for FM modulation. It's a saw wave. Put up one octave. Giving this effect. You have envelope one shaped like this with a quite a lot of attack, some sustain and some decay. You have the filter, low 12. With a cutoff, with envelope one to it, some drive. And then the last thing we have in oscillators is a monologado. Just to give a bass some more slight effect. Then in effects you have hyperdimension with some dimension only. Then you have some tube distortion. Quite a lot actually. There's a phaser. Makes the bass a bit thicker. There's some OTT. It really makes a difference in the sound. So it's quite heavily. The highs are boosted are boosted quite a bit. With one fifty percent. Gain as well, 15 dB. So right now it's clipping as you can see. But we got a filter after it. With a low 24. And NFO1 routed to the cutout. So what this will do is when the long notes are playing, the filter is getting opened up. We have the effects on the mixer. With a low cut to make room for the sub bass. Some OTT to open up the bass a little bit more. Some reverb, just to get some more space to the bass, and just a little bit, and some side chain. And there you have the modulation, right to the attack, release, cut off, and vibe for the sound. So what this will do is basically opening up the bass line a bit more at the end of the of the pattern. You have the sub bass. To fill the low end of the sound. It's just analog sub bass. Or the wavetable samples from a MOOC sub. So then the only thing we have to cover is this. Camouflet kind of lead. We have a washout automation of the first mod. It's routed to the to the band. To the reverb. And cut off. So let's have this in preset. So let me just quickly disable all effects. So without any effects, it's not like this. So we have the first oscillator with a bend minus, which takes from a from a sine wave to a more square kind of wave table with 60 unisons and envelope one to the detune. Just to add some more punch to sound. So really short decay. Then you have Ustler B. It's just a saw wave. 60 unisons, heavily detuned. At a low volume. 
we have FLOG 1 to the level. Then we have the effects. First of all, we have some hyper with a washout enabled to it. So this will detune the sound a bit more. Then we have some distortion, there too, quite heavily. So we're just gonna destroy the sound to later add a filter to it. So we have OT, which will destroy it even more. Some chorus and then a filter. The filter will take the sound back to a more normal sound. There's some reverb delay to give it some more room. Reverb quite heavily. We have the EQ. With FL1 routed to the game, just to make more punchy in the low cut. So that's the preset. Then we have some effects on it. We have the low cut, reverb, delay, and sidechain. So together with the bass line, it sounds like this. And together with the drums, it sounds like this. So I really think it sounds quite cool all together. And that's it for the video. So if you like the video, please leave a like to see more and the subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next videos.